Welcome to my lecture online. I think you're beginning to see the pattern. Now we have the problem where we have the denominator is a plus bx quantity cubed. The same approach will be used. So we have this cubed here, but we're still going to use a substitution. Let u equals what's inside the parentheses. We then solve for dx, which is d over b, and we can solve for x in terms of u, square both sides, so we can then substitute that in for x squared. When we do, we get the following. We get x squared, which is this quantity, divided by b squared. dx will be du over b. That's where we get the b cubed from. And in the denominator, a plus bx quantity cubed will now be u cubed. And then we do the same thing again. We divide the denominator into the numerator to get the following. So this becomes equal to 1 over b cubed times the integral of 1 over u minus 2a divided by u squared, but I'm going to write that in the numerator, u to the minus 2. And then here we have plus a squared divided by u cubed, or plus a squared u to the minus 3, and the whole thing times du. So again, the trick is to divide the denominator into the numerator and end up with three separate integrals that are relatively easy to do. Let's go ahead and integrate those. This is equal to 1 over b cubed times this becomes the natural log of u. Here we get minus 2a u to the minus 1 divided by minus 1. And here we get plus a squared u to the minus 2 divided by minus 2. And of course, the constant of integration. Then if we plug in what u is equal to and simplify this a little bit, we get 1 over b cubed times the natural log of, and let's put absolute value signs around that, a plus bx. Now here we have a negative 1 times a negative that becomes positive, so that becomes plus 2a divided by, because this goes into the denominator, u to the first power becomes a plus bx. And here the negative 2 applies here, that becomes negative a squared over 2, and we have a 1 over u squared, that becomes u then becomes a plus bx, so a plus bx to the second power in a constant of integration. And let's take a look here, and that looks good. That's how we then write the solution to this particular integral. Again, the technique should become familiar to you at this point. And that's how it's done. 